Hello and welcome back to my Craft the World Let's Play series, where in this episode we start where exactly where we left off actually. So let's take a look at the tech tree here. Um, we got stuff to do. So we want to complete this down here, and I'm thinking, I'm thinking that we move the tables from here to over here so we have like a eating place over here with the windows and then i think i will put a door and then make a farm area over here just like i talked about in the last episode um and i guess we'll make more bits just because we are very close to getting a new dwarf so i guess we should have that ready as well so let's get our dwarfs working here and i think we will be taking on the next monster wave um now, sadly, if we hurry, we will be able to get this leather armor here. As much as, maybe not for every dwarf, but at least for some of them. So, in fact, let's make some more um, of these guys, I think. And this, by the way, I think this is new. I looked back at one of my older videos and it wasn't there. So, I'm pretty sure that it's new. So, let's make two of those. And let's make then... A flower pot so we can just click here and it transfers all the ingredients to the crafting table and I can just make that which I think is pretty cool and oh man we're so close um well let's make another table how many tables do we have I don't know let's just make some and nails and wood there we go someone make that well, I put these somewhere, I guess there, and maybe, maybe at the end here, you know, why not? And someone will make that table, good. I think actually we will remove these tables. There we go. And I just want to see here. Yes, we got big chairs. And I think we might be, oh dear. Yeah. What? Get that guy. Where's all of our dwarves? There are what four here? Where the oh, they're stuck over here. Great. Uh, cool. Let's get a portal so they can return. And if they want to, they seem quite happy down there. Um. Yeah. Let's get this out of the way. Let's just keep the chairs for now. I don't know how to get through. What are you talking about? Let's remove that. Should be pretty clear. We'll see if they keep having problems. Um, so yeah, let's get rid of this old stuff here that we used in the last episode. We don't need it now. And let's get these new tables out. And I like to surround my, ch my tables with chairs, but I'll just place the tables for now yeah three should do and these tables can actually hold more than the old tables which is nice there we go cool and let us get some food on it so fried eggs grilled meat we got grilled fish and fish stew and we also have some mixed greens salad so let's put at least two of everything on just because there we go, there we go, there we go. Don't know how to get through, what are you talking about? Let's just try something, quickly. Do that, see if everyone... Yeah, everyone can get through. Don't know what they're talking about. Um, yeah, that's another handy use of the horn spell, I guess. Okay, let's get some fish on there, and some fish stew. There we go, and some salad as well. Don't know, can we actually put more stuff on there? Yes, we can. Let's get, well, more stew on as it is what we have most of. There we go. They are completely stacked. Okay, now we can call that off. Um, Good, that's that. And did we, yes, we completed, we did complete this, which means advanced armor. 
Oh yeah. Um, and it doesn't even require steel, which is nice, but it requires leather and rope. Now, one thing that I actually completely forgot was uh, not that either. This, we made our first steel. And now that we have more coal, we definitely want to make more of it as we do want to make like steel pickaxes and stuff. Uh, I do have to keep some of the iron for the armor though. Um, yeah, let's make some rope first and then we can get on with the other stuff. Let's just make nine and let's see, let's make the chest plate first. I don't know what how much we're going to make of... Let's start with one set and then we can see how much it takes. So, it's an instant crafted thing. So we have a chest plate there. We then have C steel pickaxe and steel axe. Cool. Uh, we have the helmet with which requires one iron, which is fine. Um, there we go. One helmet and we also have boots which is just leather and rope now what I find interesting is that it doesn't show up all the time so maybe it is a thing that isn't new but that's weird it's weird how it shows up on some of the other stuff and not this okay so we got a full set how much leather do we have um, if I can find it there seven Let's just see here. Uh, that's our first dwarf, I think. Hain, is that how you say it? I have no idea. Helmet. There we go. Looking much cooler and much nicer. And, in fact, I want to... Because we're close to the monster wave, I want... Go rest, go rest, go rest. We don't need to... Uh, well, you can. Go rest. Don't have to. Don't have to. Go rest. Um, yeah. And then, in the meantime, let us make more armor. So, let's see. Let's make... I don't think the chest plates require any, any iron, but they do require two leather. So, let's make, I think... Let's make at least three sets, so that's two. And then we want um, leather boots, so we want two of those. I think we will have just enough. And then we will have two, yes, we have just enough of everything. And two helmets, there we go. And we have to get more leather, and we have to get more wool. So. Green, get a new chest plate, a new helmet, and some boots at last. And Peyton, is that how you say it? Leather boots, leather chest plate, and leather helmet. Now, sadly, these guys will be standing back most of the time, I hope, anyway. So they will hopefully be fine. But we do have four other guys here without leather armor, but we do require more leather. Um, which, if I remember correctly, you get from these guys. So let's do that. And let's take a look here. So we are very close. Let us make our first steel pickaxe and steel axe. So if we have enough steel to do so, and it has to be crafted, of course. And the steel axe as well. Yes, we have just enough steel for a new set of steel tools which hopefully then will be done at the end of that. Which then actually unlocks advanced weaponry, weaponry, which gives us new bows and new swords. And this fireball spell, which actually when I use it, it costs mana, but it calls down a f like a small fireball comet thing that will hit and damage the mobs. And what is all this? This is new to me. Parachute? Training dummy? Target magic sphere. Okay, that's new to me. Um, all right, let's get going. <laughs> um, we also want some of this basic decorating, like this skull shield thing. Skull shield, yeah. 
Um, this is just for decoration in the house. So let's just get one of those because we do want to complete the basic decorating um, in the tech tree. Um, let's see, what else can we make? Not much actually. We can make wall, skin, rug. Oh, we need leather for that one. Uh, how about the mirror? Yeah, let's make a mirror, shall we? And some glass, and there we go. And for the rest, we will need... Well, that is... That's loud. That's very loud. Um, I'll just be moving on here. Um, hopefully we will get some leather out of this guy. Yes, we got a leather. I think we need two. This guy's over here, so let's make a portal and get him too. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, we completed it. Which means we can now make advanced weaponry. Perfect. So we now have a new spell, which I'm going to give myself right away. Um, so we have steel swords, though it requires steel, obviously. And we have long bows, but that requires steel as well, and rope, which we don't have. Um, what else did it unlock? It unlocked the fireball spell. It costs five mana to use, but not too bad. And we also have a page two, which is the parachute. What does it do? They say that orcs from the dangerous caves were the, f were the first ones to use parachutes. Okay, a parachute will protect a dwarf when falling from a great height. That's cool. Um, it's definitely something they can use. Training dummy. Select a dwarf with the warrior skill and send him to the dummy to increase his skill level. So we can train our dwarves to become better warriors, which is cool. And I guess this is the same, but with the archers. Archers can increase their accuracy a little here. Yeah, thought so. And magic sphere. I guess that is for those who are using staffs. This sphere safely absorbs the energy from combat spells when training a wizard. Yeah, thought so. So, that's all cool. So we will need a training area. Okay. We will... Did he drop any leather? Yeah, I think so. Good. We will be needing a training area. Maybe in the bedroom? I was planning on... Actually, we need to get some more bits down as well. Because we might receive a new dwarf in this battle. So we do need that. So let's make this our last nails. And also, we don't have that many planks left. We have one bit, which is perfect. Um, and it's an instant craft thing. So let's do that. And yeah. I guess we could have a training room up in this area of the house here once we get to that point and I guess I should be placing these as well where should we put it let's put it right here no not there that looks weird let's put it there then and let's put this shield up yeah there that looks good <laughs> a skull above the food interesting what are we on now 65 65 65 it most likely will be updating um, I'm actually very supply surprised that we got to making it be able to make these um, oh our tools are done let us equip our first guy with wait a second we have got a guy that is using stone tools well that's going to change now because our first guy is going to drop these and equip the new steel ones, steel pickaxe and steel axe. And our newest recruit can get the iron stuff. There we go, not bad. Um, let's take a look here. I want to make, let me take a look at the tech tree. Um, what does this take? Let's make this then. I think it's some sort of a block, what is it? Venetain Stucco for wall finishing. I guess we might be able to use this in the future. So let's just make some of this. Yeah, let's just complete this one. There we go. Used up all the clay. So I will just make more clay, which is simply water and 
earth or dirt and there we go good always have some in stock basic stone working so we need a workshop to be able to make some of this stone wall which will actually look very nice um Let's take a look here advanced weaponry how much steel do we have we have four so we are able to make at least one sword and well not a bow because we don't have any wool speaking of if our guys can do it within two minutes to get this guy this guy this guy and that chicken and this sheep and this chicken it'll be good because the monster wave is coming before two minutes has passed, so they have to. <laughs> Otherwise, they will be called back. Hey, bird. Angry birdie. Hey, angry bird. It looks really angry. I don't know why. Okay, they got stuff. Using arrows. And stuff. Those are some very interesting fish. Yeah. We will not be able to make a sword and a bow within this time because he's using the smith already. And, well, we just have two remaining. Um, what's this stuff? Oh, the workshop. Um, should we make a steel sword? We could. In the end, I want to upgrade all of our guys' stuff, and I think I would like to start with the tools, as we haven't really had any major issues when these monster waves come. So I think I will be saving it to make more tools. Um, that's just how I think of it, because if we take a look at this, mining 60, mining 40, so it's a huge upgrade. Lumbering 40, lumbering 30, so it's a big upgrade. Um, so I will actually be making some more of this stuff. So let's take the wood and we have 8 steel, which is actually enough to make 4 new pickaxes. And we have 1 steel more incoming. And I think 1 just... no. Okay. Okay, everyone get back here. Get back, you two. And, oh wow, hold up, uh, pass action before that portal closes, um, and pass action again, need to call everyone back to the home, there we go, he's going to smith the last pickaxe, actually, you know what, scrap that for now, scrap that, is it still there, no, okay, good, we will make it later. Is everyone here? Nope, guy, hurry, hurry, hurry. I will close the portal. There we go. Everyone is back at the home. Let's just hit count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, eight. Where are the other two? Where are the other two? Four, four, eight. Where are the other two? We have ten dwarves in total. Maybe they are hiding behind something. I don't know. Uh, there's the ninth, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, there's another one behind there. <laughs> okay, we have all ten of them. Let's just do that and let's see where this enemy portal or monster portal is going to spawn. Let's see. Over here. Perfect. Just what I wanted. So we have a zombie. We have a skip. Okay, he died immediately. Oh, the traps. <laughs> the traps worked. Okay, so we have a zombie, we have some skeletons. Oh, the traps work so, so, very, so well. That's cool. So we have some zombies, some skeletons. So far, not that tough. Okay, this guy might be a problem. Let's take a look at 
this thing. Maybe it's here. Uh, let's take a look. So, no, no, no. This was the last guy. We have not seen this guy yet. But he looks very powerful with that axe. Also, one quick thing. We need to equip our archers or allow them to use fire arrows. We are going to be needing it this time. Okay, that looks like everything. I could, I would be able to use this, but I do want the dwarves to do some of the battle. So let's order them to attack and let the battle begin. So these guys are gonna use arrows. I'm going to be using the fire spell once. There we go. Whoa, what? Okay, that guy is very powerful. <laughs> they all jump. <laughs> but it's not a problem for our guys. We got them. That was quick. And we got a new dwarf at the end of it. And we got five wooden helmets. Yay! 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 <laughs> Okay, cool. Well then, let's just get our wooden spikes out and let's make some more traps. They really did something. So let's make eight of those and get that sheep. Sorry, sheep. But we want the wool. So let's place that. Very, very nice indeed. That was quick. Very quick. I don't think they are... Hard enough. <laughs> okay, let us see. Klim? Klim? I think that's how you say it. So, guy, get a club, get a pickaxe, and an axe. I can't get through. What now? You're not supposed to, buddy. Um, okay, that went very well. Let's get that guy too. Yeah, get him. Get him too. Go take him. Yeah. Wait, we can stop the use of fire arrows now. Oh, he's an archer actually. We should get a bow then. He will be the first then, I think, to get the new type of bow. There we go. He's dead too. Let us actually... Let's make one of the new bows and let us make, I think, um, yeah, where's the rope? I need to see the rope. There we go. Uh, let's make one of the new bows. Actually, we might be able to make four of them. Yeah, I just need a bit more rope. Yes, there we go. That. And then I can make four new long bows for our archers so there we go and the rope let's make one two three four there we go with five steel to spare which then I will be using two of those to make swords I think just because I want to try some of the new stuff here two swords and then I will be making an axe just to use all of it and then we need to find more iron. Because it does take a lot of iron. Well, it takes two iron and we get two, um, two ingots. So, oh, that's a nasty spider. Um, we have iron here, lots of it, plus coal, which we need. Let's just take a look here. Okay. You know what? Um... How's everyone doing here? I think everyone is doing fine. Yeah, everyone's fine. So I just want... Oh, that's cool. So the bows are being made at the wood station, but the sword is being made at, being made at the smith. That's cool. Oh, he's going to make food. That's fine. Alrighty. Let's equip some of our new stuff. So we have... The old clubs, which deal 20 damage, and we have the swords that deal 25. So let us... Oh yes. New swords. 
Every, at the end where we have enough iron and stuff, every dwarf will be kitted out with the newest stuff, but it's going to be taking some gathering time. Um, let this guy have a new bow. Oh yes, look at it. Much better than the old one. And let us get everyone down here, I think. Let's just mine this out. Because I want to take this thing out just before we end the episode. He's going to do it. I don't understand why these guys are saying that. I don't know how to get through. Get through to where? <laughs> okay, I think he's carrying a bow with him to the stockpile. There we go. Let us equip our newest guy with a bow. So let's do that and that. There we go. And let's find the other guy. There we go. Have your bow, buddy. And we have one axe. Let's give it to this guy, Reen. There. And do we have any iron like close by? We do have this. Which is going to be taking some time to get to, but not impossible. Oh, I still have these. Let's place these down then, all the way over. As we have seen what they do. And I want... Then I need my scaffoldings, which is very handy. There we go. Let's put these down. Because I want to dig up to the sign here. And... We do want a torch here. Actually, I just thought of something. Fun idea. How much damage will this do? Not much. Not much at all. So, okay. No reason in doing that. Okay. Uh, let's get that thing and... Let us... I think we are ready. Okay, we have some guys here mining that. And then I want that there. I really need this iron now. And... Let's do that. And then get that, 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 and dig everything. And... Let us... Make... Order some dirt to be placed once that is broken. Oh, it's already there, I think. Okay, good. And yeah. Okay. So the last thing I think I will do in this video is to quickly attack this place so we can get some more iron. And I really want to know what's up here. Anyways, let's call everyone over here actually. Use the horn spell. Alright, we are gathered. Let us punch a hole through this and I will just stop this from being a task for now I'll get back to it most likely off camera okay who is going to dig it this guy no who is going to dig it come on guys figure it out okay that's one I did remove the horn spell, but let's just place it back again. I want everyone here. Okay, let's hope that they know how to do things now. Clearly not. Wow, this is a big, big fail. Okay, and that, and let's attack. Attack, all units attack. Every dwarf, attack. And let's get this thing. Yes, get the new swords in use. Listen to that sound. Yes, let's get these guys. Take this place. And... Yeah, that was easy. Cool. That was very... Very... Very, very easy. So let us just get a torch here. Put a torch... On a block wall. Yeah, let's put it over here. Let's put it here. Put it right there. And let's put one there as well. 
why not? We will be mining this iron, and we are very close to this. I am tempted to attack one of these, but I just don't think we are ready yet. I really want to know what this is. If it, actually, I don't think it is anything. I just think it's the border between the sand and the dirt. Alright, that's cool. So, we didn't do much to the house. We made the new tables. We defeated the fourth monster wave very easily. And we got working in the advanced armor and advanced weaponry. I will proceed, most likely off camera, making steel pickaxes and axes and armor and swords and bows um, so every dwarf can get the new stuff. And we will proceed then with farming and basic stoneworking, most likely. My plan is to make a farm over here. And we also need to make training area. Where? Nowhere. I'll just take this to be mined and then I will call it an episode. One second. Alrighty, there we go. But with that said, I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, remember to leave a like, comment and share it with your friends. And if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.